Hey everyone, how you doing? Course Dive here, coming at you with a video. Today's video, we're talking about 4K camera applications for your smartphone. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today's video, again, obviously, we're talking about 4K camera applications for your smartphone. Particularly for this video, I'm talking about 4K cinema. Uh, my understanding is still in beta testing mode, but I went ahead and I downloaded it anyways. Uh, to kind of see what it looks like, obviously you look on YouTube, you type in 4K cinema for your smartphone, you'll see quite a few very interesting videos. Looks really good as far as from a color grading standpoint. The question is, can it be a replacement for your DSLRs or your mirrorless cameras? And we'll get into that as soon as I show you these clips. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the clips. Obviously, again, it's in beta testing mode. I just threw a few shots together. So I shot it at 200 megabytes per second, uh, obviously in, in 4K, uh, down to 1080. Did a little bit of color grading to it. Um, it has some potential, don't get me wrong. Uh, but is it a uh, replacement for a DSLR or any other professional camera? Since a lot of times my videos, I use my Fuji X-T1 or my Canon HRF 600 to do my YouTube videos or my smartphone like I'm doing today. Uh, my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which I'm using uh, different setups, different quick. Uh, this video I have to do a little bit quicker today. I don't have enough time to kind of set up. But so far, I think it's working good. Uh, so obviously, you know, there's always been that question, you know, can smartphone videos kind of outdo DSLRs? And I think it really depends on um, what you're trying to do, really. Uh, obviously, you can now pick up a phone and shoot video. Uh, will it look good? Better than DSLRs? It it varies. It varies. Uh, depends on the content. It varies on your lenses, your aperture. Uh, all sorts of things come into play in that regard. Obviously, uh, you can use smartphone footage as a, maybe a B or C if you're lucky. Kind of throw it in there. Uh, obviously, you know, Filmic Pro has a has their app for the uh, Android, which not a lot of good reviews. I remember I used Filmic Pro back on the Apple phone, which looked really, really good for a phone. Uh, and this is probably uh, about three or four years ago at this point, maybe maybe five at the most. Um, so it's always going to be this debate between smartphones versus regular professional video cameras like you know DSLRs and your higher end brand. Um, obviously, they're starting to make a lot more videos for you know you. Uh, editing applications now on your phone also yeah, they have more of the cinema 4k app video applications in there different you'll see different video video applications uh, so it's a whole host of everything you know both on the apple platform and on the android uh, so really it's it's up to you and really what works for you uh, you know this app does have some really really good potential uh, obviously there are some limitations to it you're not going to get a really big shallow depth of field uh, if you want a very interesting look, I think you'll be able to get it from this. Uh, kind of maybe use it as a camera shot. Kind of that, that gritty noir film look to it, you know? Uh, if you're looking for that, I mean, uh, if you look at the video again, it's, it's actually not bad. I mean, uh, you're able to shoot in uh, standard picture profile and also the flat picture profile. Those are the only two they give you. Also, they have uh, automatic focus and also they give you uh, manual focus too, which is actually not too terrible I've seen worse uh, but it does allow you to get a little bit of shallow depth of field in there uh, but not on a whole lot you know, it depends on how far away from your subject you are uh, and it'll allow you to kind of throw it out of, uh, out of focus a little bit uh, especially in the uh, shot where I had the, uh, the mirror the side mirror uh, that was allowing me to get just a little bit I had to really frame it just right and I was able to get it um, obviously this is always up for debate you know these applications the smartphones versus DSLRs versus you know, other professional cameras. Uh, if you like your video, please subscribe below. And if you have any comments, please put them below or you can send me a direct message. And I'll see you next video, guys.